Uh, another update video because I've sort of got some news on what was wrong with the bike uh, or what is wrong with the bike and to be honest I'm a little bit pissed off because uh, if you've sort of been following my social media you may have noticed that I sort of been hinting that I've been without a bike for a while and that's right I've been without a bike now for about a week and it's actually really starting to piss me off um, sort of getting withdrawal symptoms from biking so, yeah, but what's actually going on is that, oh, I should explain why I'm filming this, it's because I, I couldn't be bothered to edit, and I don't have a bike, so I can't vlog anyway, so I had to do something with my phone, and I couldn't really film myself, because the visor was just reflecting my face, so, um, there you go, this is what you get to look at, uh, and also this, but we'll get onto that in a minute. Uh, not not the Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper. Buy Dr. Pepper. Right, yes, so bike. Weird stuff is happening with the bike, and it's really pissing me off, and it's wasted a lot of my time. So, as you know, it was sort of farting about before, losing power with the revs, and I sort of thought at first it might be water ingress into one of the plugs or something, and put it down to that, because it fixed itself when everything had dried out, because it happened when it was raining, and it happened on a green lane. And put it down to that and thought it would fix itself. Um, and rode it for a day after that and it was absolutely fine. And then the day after that it broke down on me again. And because it broke down on me again I had it looked at and tried to have him figured out what the hell it was. And we sort of replaced the spark plug. We had a look at how carboned up it was. And it also the dealership had a look at it and couldn't really find anything wrong with it um, but the bike had just also had a new ECU and a new set of clocks because of an issue with the clocks so that's it we thought it was fixed uh, take the bike down to Portsmouth and the issue rears, it head, rears its head again in Portsmouth I actually end up having to be recovered from Portsmouth all the way back to London which was a huge pain in the arse but oh well okay we'll get the bike to the dealership and then they'll sort it uh, well, I get back from Portsmouth, and actually the bike feels okay-ish again. It's, it's definitely a weird one. The engine light's gone out as well. So I phone up the dealership, and they're like, okay, well, just sort of see how it goes, because I'm due a service anyway soon. And so I, I see how it goes. Uh, maybe it was just a sort of teething problem, because it just had a new ECU, and maybe it was just because I'd just taken it green lane, and I thought, okay, I'll see how it goes. So I see how it goes, and the other day I brim my tank with petrol, and it starts farting around again. Losing revs, stalling out at lights, all of this bullshit that it was doing before. And on top of that, it starts pissing fuel out um, of a sort of weird location. There's a, a like black box thing under the seat where the fuel line goes into, and... I think it may be either a vacuum or a fuel um, filter or something along the lines of that. And it's just pissing fuel out of here at like an alarming rate. And I can't really recover it to the dealership while it's pissing fuel out. So we have to siphon off the petrol, bleed the tank all the way down to empty, get it in the back of a van, get it to the dealership. And the dealership are looking at it. And I also say to the dealership, look, I'm not happy right now. This is starting to take the piss. And they sort of go, yeah, we know. So they're looking at it, they're looking at it, and they put it down to a faulty Lombardo sensor, which is the emission sensor. I say, okay, fair enough. Um, that doesn't really sound like a reason for it to start pissing fuel, are you sure? Yeah, it's fine, it's working. Okay, I will come down to you. And if you don't know, my dealership is actually on the other side of London to me, because I was looking for a decent Lex Motor dealership, not one of these just scooter shops. And... The closest actual proper bike dealership that sold Let's Motos uh, was south of the river, quite far away, a good 15 miles away from my house. And so I get the train, I get the tube all the way down to the dealership. It's about a one and a half, two hour journey. And they give me the bike back and they say this is running fine. So first thing I do, I take it to a petrol station. I brim the tank because the tank is still empty. And five miles down the road, it's fucking up again. Literally five miles after going and the dealership saying it's repaired and they tested it, it was fucked. 
And so it's back in the dealership now. I've wasted an entire day. The dealership had to put me in a cab home because I cut, uh, because I kicked up a stink because I just wasted a day. I took half a day off college to go and get this bike back, uh, which I originally actually said that it would be fixed on the same day I dropped it off, which was Tuesday. Uh, and then that became Wednesday on the day that I actually dropped it off. So I had to sort of find my own way home, but whatever. And then that became, oh, we haven't got a part, so it'll be ready on Thursday. And so Thursday rolled around, which is today. And here we are. So I've wasted a whole day going down to the dealership trying to get this bike, get it back home, only to have to take it back there again. And it's all just a bit of a fuck situation, and I'm without a bike. So that's, that's the situation right now. I'm kind of a bit pissed off. This isn't the only issue that I've had with this bike. I may be starting to kind of consider going for the action of d d attempting to get a refund on it or a replacement bike or something because it's been a bit of a lemon right now but we'll see we'll see this is their last chance if they fix it now and it runs fine then I will just leave it I'll take it I'll be happy with that but right now I'm a little bit pissed off um, I'm not pissed off with Lexmoto to be honest because I know that they make decent bikes and I know that I'm probably in a minority here but what I am pissed off with is sort of how it's being handled and the support that I'm getting from both the dealership and even though I haven't really contacted them, um, the way the dealership is making it out, how they're being dealt with by Lexmoto. So I don't really know. But anyway, as I mentioned earlier, on the plus side, I have a spicy 110 clock. Um, I thought I'd, I'd, I have to show you this in a video, so... I thought I'd show you it now, it's really nice, I love it very much. I need to find a way of mounting it up because it's a bit of a heavy bastard. My walls are a bit shit here in this house and uh, it does have on the back of it this way of mounting it but it just doesn't stick out that far from the battery holder. So we'll have to focus you fuck. There we are. So we'll have to uh, see about that but it is a very nice clock, I'm very happy with it. It's got a smiley face, and it even says, made by Spicy110, and uh, it's got a nice engraving somewhere on it, uh, here. So yeah, it's not all doom and gloom, got to look on the bright side, so I've got a nice clock that I will be hanging up somewhere. So, positives and ne negatives, yes, words, okay. This has been a weird, unedited thing. Sorry, you've just had to look at my gear for the past, like, seven minutes. New videos coming soon. I've got some old videos already filmed in, like, Portsmouth and going to Portsmouth and a Green Lane video. And so I, I will, like, sort that all out for you soon. Oh, the second hand's gotten jammed. Boop. That was my bad. But, yes, I will see you all soon, or old me will see you all soon, and I will keep you up to date. But thank you for watching. Moto594, I was gonna, how could I do a 9? With No, that's not gonna work. Alright, bye, take care. Like the video and do all the things. Okay, bye, bye.